Hi guys, it's Shred Chromaglitch, and today I'm introducing a new series called Saturday Showcases. We cover a variety of indie games on the channel, and I had this idea after making one of our Screenshot Saturday posts on Twitter. A little background, Screenshot Saturday is when developers, content creators, etc. are encouraged to showcase something they're currently working on to help get more visibility to it. We host one of these every couple of Saturdays, and I wanted to do more with it. This series will focus on highlighting some of the games that really stood out from the previous Screenshot Saturday thread and will hopefully give you more information on a few of those games. I'll link the Screenshot Saturday thread with all the games that have replied in the comments down below, so be sure to check it out for even more games. With that, let's take a look at this week's showcases. Bo is an action-adventure 2D precision platformer based in a world of Japanese folklore. In Bo, you'll play as a tiny fox demon and will have to use your bow staff to bounce and move through the world. The world of Bo is brought to life in a traditional hand-drawn art style. From oceans, pagodas, and caves, the illustrations available so far are amazing. Bo is still in development and the Kickstarter pre-launch page is up. I'll put a link to that down below. Cryptic Crew is a visual novel and dating sim. Play as a freshly bitten werewolf and go on a road trip across the US. Meet various cryptids and monsters, befriend them, and then, if you want, date them. Cryptic Crew is a visual novel where choices will matter and there will be consequences behind them. The game also features a few different ethnicities with customized routes, which is always cool to see. Cryptic Crew is currently in development, and at the time that this video is scheduled to go live, there are 12 days remaining on their Kickstarter, I'll put a link to that below. Fans of old school tycoon sims will want to keep an eye out for Espresso Tycoon. Espresso Tycoon is bringing a modern approach to the genre. You will deal with hardcore management and an economy full of variable structures, connections, and solutions while building your coffee empire. You will be able to decide on the cafe's location and aesthetic, employees, advertising, and more. The 3D coffee editor will allow you to combine multiple ingredients in a very creative way to create drinks people will love. Espresso Tycoon can be wishlisted on Steam, a demo will also be available in the future, so looking forward to that. For anyone looking for a chaotic online party game where you can battle against friends to become the best robber, Crooks Like Us is the game for you. The goal of the game is to collect as many valuables as possible and get back to the escape van before time runs out. There are plenty of gadgets to use to distract your friends and ensure you come out on top. Crooks Like Us supports 1-8 to eight players and features multiple game modes such as Free For All, 1st to 25k, Teams, and more. We did have a chance to play earlier versions of the game with both local and online co-op modes and had a lot of fun. An early access version of Crooks Like Us is available on Steam for $9.99. A link to that will be included down below, so be sure to check that out. And those are this week's Saturday showcases. I had a lot of fun looking at all the games and I can't wait for the next showcase. You can find links to all the games down below in the description as well as the link to this week's Twitter thread. If any of the games stood out to you, leave a comment down below. If you've had a chance to play any demos we covered and you want to share your experience, also leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found any of the information helpful, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more Saturday showcases.